pose this to either one of you. How sweet was that? You go first. I love it. I mean, to stop Marcus Keene and only hold him to 12 points, that's a number one objective that we had going into this game. Yeah, it feels good to get back on the winning, the winning chart. It looked like early on you guys uh, uh, may have had something game plan wise to get inside offensively. It was uh, uh, you got a lot of points in there. Was that part of the game plan on offense? Uh, actually, the game plan was just to move the ball and not be as stagnant as we were previous games. And by doing all the move, different movements, like cutting and stuff without the ball, the big men and Mark and the other guards were able to get in there and just get easy layups. Suffice it to say, you had a very nice game. How does it feel to get that kind of a game in a winning effort, especially, I guess, when the, you know, the team could really use a win at this point in time? Uh, it felt really good. I could really care less about the points, but now that we won, it just feels a lot better. So it's good. Um, what was the, the defensive game plan on Keene? I, I, Rooney, I guess, was kind of like <coughs> the point man on it, but mm. he by no means was operating alone. Uh, basically, our game plan was to come in this game and make every shot that he shot challenged and tough for him. I mean, he's 5'9", number one leading scorer in the nation. As long as we contest his shots, some shots won't fall, some shots will, but as long as we contest them, then most of them won't. In your wildest dreams, could you have envisioned 12 points, though? That's a season low. Yeah, he, he gets at least 20 in his sleep, in my opinion. <laughs> But well, we were just coaches just told us to contest the shots, and we did that, and we got to live with the results. Um, as far as uh, everybody knows about Marcus Keene and everything, but they showed uh, a considerable amount of depth. Was that frustrating when they had some other guys that were really stepping <coughs> up? I mean, recently. We know he's going to you know come through with a bunch, but they had some other guys step up too. Was that frustrating at any point? Uh, I don't think it was frustrating. We knew that their players would have to step up and take and make shots. But uh, as long as we kept contesting those shots and making a challenge for them, then some of them wouldn't fall. So as long we live with the result. Logan, how about your experience for this question? Would you consider this probably or maybe perhaps your guys' uh, most complete game of the season? Yeah. Yes, sir. Just the way we play defense on those two and the rest of the uh, the guys for Central. And then our offensive game was coming along strong, so I would definitely say. As a team, uh, <laughs> there was a pretty long stretch there. I think there were like uh, two threes made on, by Miami in the first half, and then the uh, first part of the second half, it wasn't going all that much better. Was there any frustration setting in about uh, uh, having trouble getting points from the outside? Uh, yeah, I know. I know I was getting frustrated, but I got to still believe in the guards and know that they're, that they're going to knock them down. So that's why I, myself, and the rest of the guys just kept passing it to them because we had faith that they were going to eventually fall for us. Uh, you know, sir, I think first I'm, I'm happy for our kids because I thought they played very unselfishly tonight. And quite frankly, um, after the second half we had last game, um, they could have come out and, and laid an egg and it was a testament to their ability, their energy to come in here and, and compete and play. And, and playing against Central, they're certainly going to test you because they just have the ability to absolutely shoot the ball and they keep shooting and they keep shooting and it feels like they keep making and keep making uh, shots. Um, I thought Logan was terrific. It just was terrific. I don't know any other way to put it. Uh, I thought Jake had some of his best looks all year, and he and he missed them early. I mean, I did. I thought he did, but boy, does he hit two. He hits one in the second half, and then that second one he hits was a big shot. I mean, it was a, a very big shot. Um, I thought Michael stayed within himself, composed. He has four in the first half, ends up with 18. He has seven assists, three turnovers, and was a factor in the game. You know, four steals, four blocks. So he did a lot of good things. Uh, Marcus, you know, gets a big rebound for us. Gets a big and one on an under OB play. That was a big play. Um, I thought Haruna um, defensively was really good. Um, Darius came in and really gave us good uh, production. And 
quite frankly, Rod. I thought Rod came in and was aggressive and looking to play and Milo. So I went down the whole group, but I say that because I think it was a team effort. Um, we took care of the ball for the most part. Uh, the 11 turnovers um, really helped us. They had 22, and I, I think they averaged around 11 on the season. So they double up um, there, so that helped us. And then we kept um, the two terrific guards they have in Rayson and Keene off the foul line. Uh, four foul shots between them. And of course, uh, they had 16 turnovers, I believe, between the two of them. And, you know, they're, they're hard to guard. So, you know, I was asked on the radio, what did you do? Well, I think anytime you play those two, you're, try you're searching for something that you think can affect them. And I mean, I think after Keene's 50, you just try to maybe make them play in some traffic you know, make it hard for him. I thought we did a good job of that in the first game, but Keen just got in an unbelievable zone and and just went off. Um, but we were able to um, not be able to keep him from doing that this game, thank goodness. And consequently, we come out with the win. Any questions? I was impressed with how you guys were getting close. You'd get within a possession, you get within a shot, and then they'd sink another three and they'd open up a gap again. But your guys stayed with it. They, they kept plugging away, and then finally took that lead and we went through the second half, and then it was nine lead changes down the stretch. I thought that showed incredible uh, moral strength, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I thought our guys were very – they persevered. They were persistent. Um, you know, it was interesting um, in a couple of timeouts um, that we called, um, just the energy of the guys, because there were a couple of timeouts we came in as our guys were walking over that we had some breakdowns. We really did. We had Haruna, who took a bad, bad three. Um, we had Marcus, who had a break down um, defensively when he helped off, and they hit a three, and we were up by three. Um, but what was interesting about that is that every single time um, the group came over, um, everyone was yelling, next play, next play. And I mean, this team's been through some things. Um, obviously, our, our bench is shortened up even more now. Um, with Dion out, but um, I think, you know, they've dealt with some things um, internally that I think it's helped them and they've come out in a better place um, for it. Um, as far as the, uh, uh, you know, you'd ha had to, Keenan and, and Rayson are going to get their points and I, I know you had to put a lot of focus on them, but they've got enough enough people that they can hurt you and it showed up during the first half they could hurt you with some other guys i guess that was one of the challenges that hope you could they wouldn't get you know too too high well i mean here's what here's what you know is that they have enough guys that can shoot the basketball and with Keane's ability off the bounce and with Rayson's ability off the bounce, they're able to find those guys. And they space you and they stretch you um, with their offensive, uh, with the way they play their offense. So, you know, they're going to be guys that are going to get shots. Um, obviously, you try to fly at them and, and challenge those shots, um, but it's coming. And, you know, the other thing we didn't do is, you know, as a team, they weren't on the foul line. You know, we got there 22 times. I'd love to get there more, but they got there nine times. So, you know, able to um, play without fouling. Um, and they take a lot of threes, so there's not as much. But, you know, obviously King gets to the foul line a lot, and so does Rayson. Um, so I, I, I thought that was one of the things. But you got to know going in, they've got guys that shoot the ball so where they're going to hit other shots. And I think the big thing, one of the big things when you play them is not getting down on yourself when a guy hits a tough shot or someone they do a good job of moving the ball and they stick one because that's going to happen and and just staying composed and, and knowing that hopefully through the course of the game that you'll still be able to be successful if you stick to your game plan. Um, I asked the guys I'll ask you was there anything as far as uh, game planning about getting the ball inside it seemed to be uh, at least through the first part of the game that that was uh, really working for you, getting it inside. And then, of course, uh, as the game you know, evolved, uh, Logan you know, kept getting his share of points inside. So was, it, was that part of the focus as far as offensive? Well, I didn't. I mean, I think obviously getting it inside was important. You know, it's it's still hard to beat a team when you're getting twos; they're getting they're getting threes. Um, but if you go back to the first game, and I can't remember the numbers, but I know we had at least 42 points in the paint, and it may have been more. So this game we have 48 points in the paint. So it, there really was no difference. I mean, it was the same thing we did against the first time against them the first time. I mean, the main difference in this game, quite frankly, you know, is we took better care of the ball. And Keen doesn't go off 
in the second half. I mean, he had 11 points in the first half up there. We played well enough to win that game. If you look at the if you look at the stats and you look at the numbers of the game, but you know they had a kid that had a special night, and so you know there were some things that you know we wanted to do maybe a little bit different, um, but you know you you hope that you can get that same kind of effort. We actually did a better job on the boards the first game when we played them. We were offensive rebounding and everything to start the game, so that was the di- that was the difference. We didn't do that as much tonight, um, but. I thought, for the most part, we we were pretty consistent in what we tried to do.